at York. Mm -hmm. He wanted, uh, he wouldn't take no money whatsoever for mm -hmm. me and uh, all the stuff he done, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said he didn't let him sell his uniform. He said, he went over to work for his country. He didn't go over to get rich off of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he come back and, and uh, he said they need down in the mountains of Tennessee. They needed a school so bad. They said no, no way their kids could get an education. And uh, he made a deal. He said, I'll dictate the book. I won't write it, but I'll dictate it. And you write it, and the proceeds will build this, this school. And he did. And that, that was the book that I read. It's what he dictated it word for word to the guy, you know, that uh, mm -hmm. he said, if you divitate one word in there, the deal's off. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So was, what was the book about? What was the book about? What did he write about? His, his life history, his mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he was a conscientious objector mm -hmm. when the war started. And he got drafted and uh, he said he couldn't shoot nobody. He said, I can't kill nobody. And uh, they kept talking to him and told him, you know, it was different in wartime, and and uh, they got they convinced him that wartime is different, <laughs> mm -hmm. and so he went and he got training. He got over into the battle when he was fighting her. Dad was over too, in about the same battles they were, but uh, his whole company got pinned down before they couldn't move. And they sent a few of these guys round up on top of the mountain to try to come in on the machine gun nest. And uh, they did. And they got there. <laughs> and this here uh, home uh, German machine gun company was all, they said, I think they said there's 30 some machine guns. 30 you know, 30 series machine gun nests, far as that order of American soldiers. And uh, he come up on them, <laughs> and uh, the company commander and everything, they was having breakfast. <laughs> and he captured them, he captured them few. And uh, they opened up on them with machine guns up on the hill. And they said, most of his, Guys with him, all of his officers got killed. He was a corporal at that time. And uh, he said he just fell down there where he was at. He couldn't get the cover. <laughs> and uh, he started taking his rifle, and every time one of them machine gunners would stick their head up over there. <laughs> and he said he kept, kept just knocking them off one at a time. And uh, they said they know that. He single handed to kill a hundred, I mean, way up in the 30s, close to 40. Mm -hmm. And this their German officer, he told him, he said, I'll surrender them guys if you'll quit shooting them. <laughs> <laughs> and he told them, they said, if you try to, any tricks. <laughs> so uh, he told all them guys, he blew the whistle and told them to surrender. And uh, one of them wouldn't. He said, I had to dispatch him because he wouldn't. <laughs> and one of them threw a grenade at him. He said, I had to dispatch him. And uh, he single-handedly captured 135 yeah. German soldiers. One guy. One guy. Surrounded them. <laughs> <laughs> they said that uh, they went back and they said they studied that battle from the island kid. He said that he went with the highest ranking generals they were yeah. and showed him. And they said they was a canteen, Steve, three feet over from him. Uh -huh. And it had 19 bullet holes in it. Yeah, right there. 